guys. I just want to say that I am going to be a grandmother for the second time, so yay. I'm a nanny. That just totally, totally gets me stoked. I'm so excited. Um, my oldest daughter's expecting probably about the end of August, which is really cool because we've got a lot of August babies in my family and my friends, you know, in that circle. So that's pretty cool. Um, my first grandbaby is a little girl and she's three and I haven't quite been able to get her to the beach and on a surfboard quite yet. So, um, I don't know how, ah, I don't know how that's going to happen <laughs> too, but I'm so excited. And, um, so any, uh, prayers, blessings, good vibes, uh, you know, good mojo, whatever it is that you've got, send it my way, send it my daughter's way. And, um, so, you know, we're looking at a happy, healthy, pregnancy and a healthy baby and I don't know about you guys and you know if you guys ever ha feel really strongly about you know when someone is with child as far as um, what it's going to be the gender of the baby but I'm pretty sure that this one's going to be a boy that's um, yeah it's going to be a boy so at the end of August when we have a new baby and it is a boy you guys can just say oh you were right <laughs> so yes um, we don't have any little boys in our family um, golly we've got all girls 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 yeah well um, so maybe I I'm not maybe I know I'm gonna be right and this is going to be pretty exciting. So, um, yeah. <laughs> On another note, polar opposite of that, politics. You're not ever going to hear me talk about them. You're going to hear me talk about how I don't talk about them. I don't talk about them for an excellent reason. Um, A, somebody's always going to get their feelings hurt. B, I'm not ever, ever going to see things your way because I have my own thoughts, my own opinions, my own views. Um, three, I'm not going to try to convince you that you should be on board with the way I think and feel. And see, I just don't want to. Ha! That's a good enough reason. I have seen just within this election alone, and I bet that a lot of you out there have as well, seen relationships ruined, absolutely torn apart. Um, uh, family members being ugly to family members. I mean, heck, you... You know, we got family members that are ugly to family members on the regular. We don't need another reason, right? So um, now we have this whole thing that is just ripping people apart, which is a big no-no. That's like, I think politics and religious conversation, political and religious conversations are taboo. I like that word, taboo. Just don't do it. Um, Within my own family, relationships uh, ripped apart uh, that you would never think, never think. And uh, friendships, forget about it, torn, you know. And, and you could probably say, you know, then your relationship wasn't that strong to begin with or your friendship wasn't that strong to begin with, but that's not necessarily true. Um, you could have a very strong bond with someone and when you start talking about um, lifestyle choices and sexual choices, you know, as far as um, 
gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, immediately you are going to have some serious, serious conflict. If you've got three people in a room, two of them are going to be on one side and one's going to be on the other, always. And with that kind of um, topic, they just get nasty. They just get hateful. And and I'm not about that. So, it, and on top of all of that, you've got the women's movement. You know, I mean, so then you've got everybody having their different opinions on that too. So, I just think that, um, and God forbid, you should mention the word Clinton and Trump and Obama in the same sentence. You know, it's just not an okay thing because... It just, like I said, one, people do it to stir the pot. Other people do it because maybe they want to be out of that relationship anyway. I don't know. But if you are going to get in those conversations, please, please, please be kind. You can have an opinion. You can have your point of view. You can have values, you know, that are just as, as real and sincere and, um, upper crust is the next person, but if you are unkind about the way you deliver that, um, you know, it's just going to, it's just going to be bad and not just delivering it, but, um, accepting it, receiving it. You know, if you're receiving what someone else is saying and you're receiving it in a negative manner, then guess what? That's going to be the catalyst for this whole fighting and arguing and, uh, I can't even take it anymore. So, I'm begging you guys, I'm begging you, please, be kind, be compassionate, be considerate. You know, if, if, if this conversation that you're having as far as politics and, and um, religion even, uh, if you see it's kind of taking a turn for the worse and it's not going your way, back up. You know, just back up and stop and walk away because... There is nothing that they're going to be able to do once you've walked away. That whole conversation's ended. They have nobody right there to keep bouncing things off of or throwing at, you know, nothing to throw things at. So, um, you've diffused the situation. You won. When you walk away, you won. It's just like, I don't have time for you. I don't have time for that. I'm not going to entertain that. I'm done. You know, so, um, yeah, just... Do your best and keep it off of social media because holy macaroni, that's like, that's stupid, stupid, insane, okay? You can have your opinion. You can throw your opinion out there as far as this is what I feel. This is what I believe. This is what I want to do. But don't put that this is what you should do and this is what you should believe and this is how I, you should think like me please, please, please try really hard not to do that because it's just, it's going to bust you up, man. It's going to, um, it's just going to take a wicked twisted turn that you probably don't need in your life unless, unless you're just really, um, really, really hungering for some drama and some bad juju in your life, you know, just be kind always, always be kind. So with that being said, you guys know that you are in my thoughts. You're in my heart. You are in my prayers. I hope you have an incredible day and do something unexpected for someone, a good unexpected, not a bad unexpected because that's just wrong. Um, you know, give someone a hug, give someone a compliment, give someone a kiss, you know, do be, be, be the man and the woman in the picture, the guy in the, uh, Navy, he comes off leave and he's like, and he kisses the woman. The, it's the infamous picture, right? Be that person.